Hey everyone, quick video. Uh, long story short, if you're having problems with your flight controller, uh, intermittent issues, or it's not starting up, or it's not connecting, it could be the MCU, or it could be your oscillator. So your oscillator here is this guy. So the longer version, I was having issues with this flight controller, uh, intermittent, and then it wouldn't boot up correctly, and then I was having problems with it connecting to beta flight. I stuffed around for a couple of hours. I replaced the uh, MCU, this uh, STM F4. I was still having problems, and then I replaced the USB connection. So I thought maybe that was the issue. Uh, and then I started looking at all the passives around it, and I ended up replacing the oscillator, and everything spun back to life. So that was a bit of a surprise to me, as they are relatively easy fix once I knew what the problem was. Uh, if you've never had a look before, so your oscillator on this board is this shiny guy here. Uh, here we go, another example. This is a Darwin FPV flight controller. This is it over here. They all look much the same. Here it is on a HDLRC uh, F7. Uh, same guy over there. Here it is on the Mamba, they're all in a similar orientation, and when you remove them, the pads look like this. So you have a center ground pad and two outer pads, which can then connect back to the MCU. Uh, a little bit of flux, and hit it with the hot air gun for 20 seconds. Uh, it'll lift right off with your tweezers. And then just repeat the process, putting it back onto your uh, broken flight controller. Hopefully that helps somebody out.